on all of the blow-by-blow action. And tonight, my expert at Mike's side is a man who is a boxing legend in his own time and a several times world champion, but more importantly, a national hero, Barney Ross. How are you doing, champ? Fine. I'm ready for a real hot, sizzling match tonight, and I think it's going to be one of the best that's been seen in a long, long time. Barney, thank you very much. We'll be going into the center of the ring to meet the fighters in just a couple of moments. But right now, here's a word from Schmitz of Philadelphia. Now at ring center, the famed voice of Johnny Addy. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to call up the former middleweight champion of the world, Rocky Graziano. Another former middleweight champion, Jake LaMotta. Last but not least, the former welterweight champion of the world, five times middleweight champion of the world, the one and only Sugar Ray Robinson. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Al Burrow and Tony Castellano. The timekeepers Fred Abatello, counting for the knockdowns is Jimmy Devlin, and the referee for the main event, Johnny Lobianco. Fifteen rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Introducing from Nigeria, he's wearing white trunks, he weighs 158 and a half. The former middleweight champion, Dick Tiger. Dick Tiger. His opponent from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He's wearing black trunks. He weighs 160. The middleweight king, Joey Giardello. Giardello. 15 rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Tiger Giardella, you're fighting for the world middleweight title. You've been briefed by the commission at the weigh-in and in your dressing room. Very important, the three knockdown rule is still in effect. Three knockdowns and any one round automatically ends about eight count knockdown is in effect if you are knocked down and the bell rings the count continues until you are able to get up you shake hands now and good luck to both of you Championship of the world, the foot on the champion Joey Giardello with his bank for the camera. He has a great left jab, an excellent left hook, a fair right. He is not lethal with the right. He has a fine defense, but he shows a tendency to drop the right guard and sneaky right hands. Did bother him in his camp training sessions that I saw. That's Joey Giardello on the right side of your picture now. And the book on the challenger, Dick Tiger. One of the strongest men in the ring today, they say. No left jab to speak of. He uses his left as a lead. He has an excellent left hook. Ditto his right hand. He has a tendency to hunt the head. He is sometimes slow in changing his strategy to meet new situations. Will he come forward or will he move sideways with Joey Giardello? Giardello is banking on the fact that he is slow in changing strategy and will revert to his moving forward. One minute gone by around one. Giardello, notably a slow starter. Now 
Tiger raked the body with hands that time. Dick Tiger said he would be more aggressive in this fight than he was in his last. One of the things Giardello must watch out for is being caught on the ropes. The center of the ring is a spot for him. He said that himself. Two minutes gone by round one. About 30 seconds left in round one. The referee is very important in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger wants a referee that will let him fight inside. He was dissatisfied with the last bit of refereeing and the last bout, which lost him the title. Seconds only left in round one. the bell ending round one. Here in this first round, just a bit of feeling out by Joey Giardello mainly to see if he is going to continue to fight. Round two getting set as Schmitz brings you the middleweight championship of the world. The record for Dick Tiger as he approaches this, the 69th fight, he has won 51, lost 14, drawn three times. He has KO 24. He has knocked out three of his last seven opponents. One of the criticisms of Dick Tiger with his back to the camera is that he does not land very hard when he starts his flurry. The referee beginning to count here. Tiger wants to fight inside. Giardello has a cut or a ridge at his left temple. It's bleeding slightly. <laughs> Giardello was stunned, Barney, but he came back to hit well in that exchange. Beautiful flurry punches on both sides. Beautiful. Tiger's trying to be the aggressor, and the Jardella was, uh, he took this couple of punches and he came right back and retaliated real strong, and uh, this is going to be really a humdinger from the way it looks right now. Oh! Beautiful. Jardella was failed well by the uh, Tiger. He still appears to be shaking the knee. He may be in trouble. One minute to go in round two. Guy Tiger's really fighting like a tiger right now, like a real tiger. A right to the jaw by Tiger did most of the damage against Giardello. But Joey is well trained. Tiger said he would be more aggressive in this fight, and he certainly is. Giardello weathering the storm with seconds left to go in round two. Ten seconds to go, round two. Round two, let's take a look at Giardello. Friends, you know how to 
make one beautiful combination. Start with you and big time sports. Top off with Bears, Bears should be. Schmitz of Philadelphia. Watch. Guy, this was a great round. Great, great round. A great round for Tiger and Giardella stood up like a real true champion. He came back and retaliated with some wonderful right hand punches. And I think that this fight is not going to go too long as far as I see it. Barney, do you think that Giardello is showing signs of the inactivity? He hasn't fought really for close to a year. So far, he's uh, started to show the signs right now to me. He's uh, still up quite a bit, although his hands are moving fast, but his legs are not going as fast as they should be going.